So Ryan said he was like a modern day Prince Charming. <laughs> he searched through all of the land for his Cinderella. Didn't you, Ryan? Yep. Well, more accurately, you two would first cross paths quite aptly at a wedding. And of course, we have cousin Lisa to thank for this wedding day ever taking place. He told me the second that he laid eyes on her, he knew instantly that this was a girl of his dreams. And Robin, well, she remembers seeing this boy for the first time and she told me she thought, who is this wee Ned with a gelled fringe? <laughs> now, it was when you were later at a night out with your mum, a 60s theme night. But Robin told me that night, it was meant to be buzzing, but it was a wee bit quiet when they went in. So she decided to message this boy and see what he was up to. Well, within a few seconds of the message popping up on your phone, you told me that you had your shoes on and you were running down the street to get to the pub that night just to see this girl. Now, this night couldn't have went any better. The drinks were flowing, the conversation was flowing. You two were spending hours and hours just getting to know one another, chatting about the things that you both loved. You told me hours had passed, but for you two, it simply felt like minutes. Now, romance had now blossomed between you both. And of course, it would be some time later that a first date was soon arranged between you two. You went over to Aaron, a special place for you now, but of course you decided to climb Goat Fell. Well, spending time walking up the mountain, you just realised you had so much in common. From hill walking to your favourite music festivals, the chemistry between you was clearly undeniable. And you two were falling head over heels for one another. And since moving in together, they tell me they're like an old married couple already. <laughs> And of course, living together as a couple, you two have had so many adventures together. However, your biggest adventure, of course, was when welcoming your new addition to the family, with your wee fur baby, Arlo, joining the household. You wanted to pop the question as soon as possible, so proposal plan B was put in place. Having grown up in Sankar, having visited the picturesque point of the Yokin, well, the waterfall where you'd walked many times before, witnessing the salmon leaping from the river, this is a special place for you both. So as you arrived at the waterfall, the views brilliantly breathtaking. Here you were surrounded by the stunning Scottish scenery. There was no one else around but the two of you. You said it felt like you were the only two people in the world. The romance was palpable, the scene was set, and Ryan was ready to ask his question. So as Robin looked out at the beautiful scenery, he pounced into position. And of course, it was at this moment when all suddenly became clear. Robin turned around to see the man of her dreams down on one knee with that ring in his hand. And of course, regardless of where or when that question was ever going to be asked, the answer was always going to be yes.